Hello, Mike Swanson of Wall Street Window here. Uh, now, you might be too old to use Snapchat and too young to use LifeAlert, but that doesn't mean you can't make money from buying Snapchat stock. The good question is, will that stock go up? Because if you buy it and it doesn't, you'll be made to look very silly. And a lot of people are buying Snapchat stock on the expectation that it's going to become the next Facebook because Facebook of course has soared over the past couple of years and Snapchat is the high uh, hyped up IPO of the year. It's really the only social media stock uh, that's been a new issue this year. Nothing can compare with it. Uh, but despite that, the stock has pulled back. Uh, it opened up around $24 a share and after three days dumped. Um, and in March, it had a very vicious gap down of over 20% when reported earnings fell to 18, it's bounced back up. It's currently trading in a range then of 23.5 of resistance, 18 is support. Very well defined trading range. I believe that the next sustainable move in Snapchat will come when this trading range is broken. I don't expect that to happen today or tomorrow, but sometime this summer. Now, I can't predict whether it's going to be broken to the upside or the downside. That means I, there's no way I can tell you that $18 a share is a final price bottom. In fact, there's a lot of troubling issues surrounding Snapchat and the stock that suggest to me it could, in fact, go lower. But if we take a look at Facebook, what it's done, uh, most stocks, when they do IPO and have an initial drop, uh, like Snapchat did and Facebook did when it came out, they tend to spend months, sometimes even a year, uh, consolidating and building a base that they then launch off of. That's what happened with Facebook. Facebook was a trap uh, stock uh, really from 2012 to the end of 2013. Uh, it really wasn't going anywhere but up and down. And then it finally broke out of resistance of around $35 and it's gone up ever since. But it took a long time for that breakout to happen and when Facebook was trading in that range there's no way to know what the ultimate bottom was and Snapchat has some issues around it that suggest we haven't seen the bottom and you know some of these social media companies have not done well. Twitter uh, has been in decline because it's not executed to meet up with the initial hype that came out surrounding the stock and the company. User growth for Twitter has basically flatlined, so has revenue, so has earnings. But let's look at Snapchat and see if that's the case, and it is. Uh, this is a comparison of Snapchat usage with Instagram usage. Now, Instagram usage has soared over the past 12 months of Instagram stories thanks to its integration with Facebook from basically nothing to now surpassing that as Snapchat. Now there's no denying Snapchat had phenomenal growth when it came out. Around 50 million people were using Snapchat in the beginning of 2014. Within uh, 16 months that number went up to 150 million to multiply uh, the user base by threefold. Now since then though uh, the user growth has really slowed down uh, substantially. It hasn't, it's barely reached, uh, it, it's around 10% in the past 12 months. So uh, the kind of manic growth uh, is ended. And when that ended with Twitter, uh, the Twitter stock uh, became a dud. Now, <laughs> Snapchat is something amazing that happened to it. And that's, it reported a net loss of 2.2 billion dollars in March for that quarter uh, to mark uh, as a milestone one of the biggest uh, net losses in the history of corporate America and frankly uh, this stock is not going to go up and become the next Facebook until these losses are turned around and turned into big gains um, and it's always lost money so it seems like that's going to take some time uh, to happen and it's got the company's got lots of competition so uh, that's that's a tough tough thing to overcome now another thing with the stock regardless of whether it's going to overcome these problems and and do you know the, the actual company do fantastic is at this moment in time the stock has an extremely high 
valuation when compared with other big cap technology stocks. Uh, let me show you what I mean. Snapchat is trading at a price to book ratio of 16 and a price to sales ratio of 61. In comparison with price to book, Google's is below 5, Twitter's is below 3, Facebook's is around 7.5, Apple's is around 7. So we're looking at uh, extremely high price to book. Uh, price to sales even higher, 61. It's almost 10 times as much as Google. It's, it's uh, five time, four times as much as Facebook, almost uh, 15 times as much as Apple. Massive overvaluation in comparison with other technology stocks. And some of these technology stocks uh, pay dividends. Uh, so to me, uh, if I had a choice between putting money in Snapchat uh, or one of these other stocks, I would put it in one of these other stocks. And to bet uh, that, well, okay, I don't care about the dividend, I think Snapchat's going to become the next Facebook, the next giant fad stock. Well, let it stabilize. Let it go through a consolidation period and see if it can go through the consolidation period successfully. Because not all stocks do that. And if you wait to see if it plays out and it breaks down, you have saved yourself losses that the people that bought into Twitter have suffered from over the past couple of years. Now, all this said, I am right now watching a situation in an entire sector that's consolidating that I think is about to resolve this consolidation phase it's been through since the summer to the upside, which result in a manic breakout and huge rally across the board for the stocks inside this sector. I did a video on it about a week ago, and you can watch that video. It's uh, You'll see a link to it uh, right above me. Uh, now, so click that and like this video. Uh, let me know you like it, and I'll do more. And also, subscribe to this YouTube channel if you've not done so already, and you'll get all my future updates. So like, subscribe, and watch the video above, and I'll be talking with you later.